Testimony of a False Prophet Hello, I'm Pastor Joel, I was a witch, and I worked hard for the devil, as a result I was congratulated and promoted to pastoral duty by the devil, who invited me to his kingdom in space, consequently two pastor took me to the air, precisely to the second heaven, to attend the annual global summit of men of God, where I was anointed and given power to heal and power to perform miracle wonders and sign in order to win more souls for the unseen world of Satan, in the aftermath of the gathering in space I joined many true churches in order to dislocate them, I was close to pastors, I won their heart through dedication and hard work in order to destroy their churches, then I went on to open my own church according to the instruction of the space kingdom, I was healing and performing miracles as a result crowds of people joined my ministry. My mission was to depopulate true churches and populate the kingdom of hell, until Jesus Christ confronted me through my wife who was a true Christian, the kingdom of space in the second heaven gave me anointed oil, in order to seal soul attending my church with the mark of the Antichrist, I had fifty space siren that assisted me in the battle against true men of God, initiation to witchcraft in the village, I was a witch. I mean an active witch for I was eating human flesh and drinking human blood, I come from a family that did not know God, I was born in a village that was dominated by native doctor, in this village witchcraft was prevailing, actually in each family of the village there was at least one native doctor, throughout the week these native doctor were going from one compound to another doing ritual and ceremony, for there was darkness in the village, however in my family there was no native doctor. My father felt insecure in the village, therefore he went on to marry a woman who was a native doctor in order to protect him and his family from witches, not long after marrying that woman who was a native doctor, seven months after their wedding the lady told my father, I know you marry me for protection, I want to tell you that I am dying, however, I will not leave without protection, but this is what you should do in order to come under protection once I am gone, firstly, you take this ring of protection, when you marry another woman after I have gone, I will be the baby in the womb of your wife when she get pregnant and I will come back to the world through your new wife in order to protect you from the witches of the village, but this is what you should do so that I will come back again to the world through the womb of your wife, you will place the ring of protection that I gave you inside the water and it will turn to liquid, and you will give it to your wife to drink. The moment she drink that water she will become pregnant of me, my father was devastated by the death of her wife, later he married my mother, and when my mother got pregnant my father did not follow the instruction of her late wife, and when my mother got pregnant for the second time my father ignore these instruction, but it was in the third pregnancy that my father carry out the instruction of her late wife, the day my mother drank that ring in the shape of water. On that very day many native doctor came to my father place and they declared that my mother was pregnant, they have certified to her that she was pregnant and they told her, you will give birth to two children, a girl and a boy, but we will work with a boy, they gave my mother instruction to follow and prohibition to keep, my father was happy for he was seeking protection and he made sure that her wife kept the instruction of native doctor, this story happened in the village of Jalo in central Congo. When my mother became pregnant native doctor became friend of the family, and they were bringing my mother meat, fish and food, one days before the birth of the boy that I am. The native doctor came and built two altar and there was a big festivity. They celebrated the whole day and they told my mother tomorrow you will deliver the boy yet my mother had no contraction and labor pain, on that day of my delivery, my mother reported that she saw two light descending around her, as a result labor pain began. It was that way that I came to the world, as soon as I was born the native doctor came and took me from my mother, later they took me to the forest for ritual from 6 am to 4 in the afternoon, in order to open my spiritual eyes and ears, this was initiation into witchcraft, and they returned me to my mother, they brought five pot of water and instructed my mother to wash me, I was sleeping on the altar built by native doctor, every time I slept in the house I was crying ceaselessly, the native doctor was supervising my growth while I was still a baby, you must understand that though I was a baby, I was already a conscious witch traveling outside the body in the astral realm to attend gathering of witches, though I was still a baby, when I got five years old, 
a week-long party was held in the spiritual world of witches for me, I was already an adult, in fact the day I was born when the native doctor took me to the forest for ritual, it was then I became a witch though I was a baby, and on that very day in the world of witchcraft I became a seven-year child though I was a baby, when I became five in the physical world, they did a week-long party for me in the spiritual world of witchcraft, at the end of the party I was told to reward and thank the council and brotherhood of witchcraft for the party organized in my honor, yet every single meat that we consume in that party was human meat, I was told to slaughter a cattle for them, I could not say no to the hierarchy, for in the world of Satan you obey, you dare not to say no, I asked them which food should I cook for you, I was told only human meat that is require, immediately they brought me a screen that was broadcasting direct images of all the member of my family, the dark world is advanced and work with technical devices and instrument of monitoring and surveillance, I was watching direct image of every single member of my family in the monitor, then I was instructed to point a member of my family to be slaughter, I pointed my father younger brother as a human sacrifice, as a result his name was recorded in the book of condemnation, on that day I was named 112, because I was put in charge of 112 witches, my uncle died two days later, I was five but I was already an experienced witch killing people in the night, I began to operate like an administrator, for in the unseen world I was ruling from my throne, every day I was to command and deploy 112 witches in the country to cause destruction, they were supposed to operate according to my instruction, I was coordinating and monitoring everything in a technologically advanced monitor, from which I was watching their flight in hyperspace and the destruction perpetrated in the region, during my initiation in dark practices a hole was drilled in one of my teeth, every time I was to travel in the spiritual world, I was pulling out that teeth that were turned to an astral plane, thanks to which I was traveling, in my childhood I lost all my teeth but that teeth was never lost, many years later I was required to offer another human sacrifice for promotion in the spirit world, I could not say no to the dark world for fear of death, in the unseen dimension human are regarded as cattle, and the killing of human equal to the slaughtering of cattle, my auntie who had finished university in Lodder was supposed to be employed, it was when she came to feast with the family that I kill her. After sacrificing my auntie I was promoted in the astral world as the keeper of the warehouse where human meat and body part were kept, it is in this store that the food of witches and wizard were kept in the astral world, whenever people lose their body part in accident it was recoup and store in this warehouse where body part and human meat were stored, in the night world, leaders of witchcraft brotherhood were supposed to offer three human sacrifice every month. The name of these targeted victim were recorded in a book called Death Certificate, once you are targeted as the next victim of human sacrifice, we will insert your record in the system which operate like a database server, as a result all your record and data will come up on the monitor, the moment your image appear in our instrument you are liable to die, I would like to point out to believer a key point concerning the dark world, indeed while working in the night as an active witch, and when people were still sleeping in the night, we were watching in advance monitor the progression and evolution of everything that will happen in the day, I could watch in the screen the evolution and progression of your day in advance, although you are still sleeping, thus while people are still sleeping, we knew what will happen throughout the day in advance, thus in the night witches are able to view the whole day, they can view what will happen in the day and where you will go throughout the day. On the basis of this information they are able to set up ambush precisely where you will pass in the day, they can strike the target in a specific place in the city because they know in advance where he will pass in the day, I was watching the evolution and progression of the day in the night while people were sleeping and I knew how to influence the day of many people, in case we watch in our instrument and the monitor that you will pass before the bank during the day and noon. In order to affect you around the bank I will pause your video scene around the bank, then I will inflict your image, and whatever I do on your image in that particular scene will happen to you throughout the day. The 8 hours of the night is crucial, for what will happen in the days a display in instrument and screen of the dark world, and it is in the night that we decide things that will happen in the day, 
Many of the things happening in people days are conspire and plotted in the night. There are three demons that control the day. The first demon is called Dawn. The second demon is called Midi. He take over at noon and he is the demon of wickedness. The third demon is called Evening. It was when I reached 12 years old that the dark world asked me to offer the third human sacrifice. This time around things were different for I only had one brother left. I was unwilling to obtemperate and comply to their order, there is no way I will be left without a brother, as they insisted, I said to them you can take his mind and leave him like that, at least I would be able to see him, they accepted my offer, as a result my brother went mad like an imbecile, I worked so hard for the unseen world that I was congratulated, as a result I was invited to attend the global summit of world pastors, which is held newly, in the atmosphere in the second heaven. Back then I knew nothing about churches or pastor, a man came to me with an invitation from the second heaven, the following day in the morning, I went with my mother to the rice field and we were in the field when suddenly, I saw two men landing in the field, my mother could not see them, they told me to follow them, as I followed them, immediately a whirlwind transported us to the air, these two individual were men of God, I mean pastor of known churches in the city. The whole thing happened in 1997, I remember I had already finished my studies, I traveled from earth to the air with these two pastors, then we finally arrive in the first heaven. It was really far because the journey lasted two hours, in the first heaven, I saw delegations of group of pastor from around the world and across the nation, they were all boarding plane in order to travel to the second heaven. I boarded a plane upon which was written plane for pastor in mystical mission, there were really a lot of pastor from all nation and all races, in fact there were 38 pastors from my region and in the capital they took more, other men of God came from region of America, region of Africa and Europe and Asia, I was just following these two pastors, though I knew them not, I had peace for I could see our mark and symbol upon all these pastor in this dimension. Those who serve the devil have symbol and mark of identification, those of the devil recognize each other in the world, when we took our plane from the first heaven we travel, and finally we arrive in the second heaven, when we arrive in our destination, I saw a massive stadium of many kilometer in diameter, at the gate of this auditorium I saw a humanoid demon guarding the gate, these humanoid demon were really huge like bodybuilders, they handed me pastoral clothes for the meeting, for this was a world summit of satanic pastors, when I entered the auditorium there was a huge crowds, for the state of the art auditorium was many kilometers in diameter, it was packed with pastors of all race and all nation, the meeting was led by his highness the representative of Lucifer, I noticed that everybody arrived simultaneously at the same time, no one arrived late, for there is strict discipline in the world of Satan. When we all took seat in the state of the art auditorium the meeting began. There was reciting of slogan by the crowds, people shouted hailed the king of this world, he deserved the kingship of this world. He deserved the kingdom of this world, people shouted three times, united, united for death, united, united for destruction, united, united in perdition, there was clapping and uproar. In this global summit in the second heaven I noticed order and discipline, for people did not move during the meeting, they did not even scratch, people eyes and attention were focused on the highness the emissary of Lucifer, there was no movement of the head or body among the assistants. Indeed when I arrive in the second heaven I came to be aware that for many centuries the dark world had established a form of annual census and annual computation and counting. It is an annual world counting and mathematical calculation of global population in order to determine the proportion of soul that belong to God and the proportion of soul that belong to Lucifer. You either belong to God or Lucifer there is no middle ground, the adversary and arch enemy of God the devil know precisely the proportion of the world population that belong to him and how many souls of me belong to the God of heaven. Thus in the end of the year calculation is made by the Prince of Air to establish a tally of souls that belong to Satan and how many belong to God, this allow them to know whether they are losing or winning souls, for the battle raging for several centuries is all about the soul of men, and every year the devil do counting in order to evaluate the increase and decrease of souls that belong to him, 
and this calculation began since the fall of men in the beginning of the world, there are years where the devil proportion of human souls increased and there are years where Lucifer loses soul because of the kingdom of God, prior to 1988 the number of souls in his account were increasing, however in the year 1989 many souls were won by the kingdom of God, as a result the devil was angry, thus the convocation of this global summit of occultic pastor, Actually the loss of soul in the year 1999 was due to the rise and expansion of revival churches, on that year the kingdom of God depopulated the kingdom of hell by winning souls held in the clutches of Satan, as a result the devil was enraged and came up with countermeasure which were to be revealed in the global summit of satanic pastor in the second heaven, when the meeting began the highness said to the assistants in this stadium of many kilometers, Given that the kingdom of light is winning soul and people are going to church in great number, the master Lucifer has resolved that witches, wizard and satanist are to be trained as pastors in order to open churches around the world and across the nation, the highness said to the assistants, the master will make you pastor and you will open churches and win souls, the supreme master will give you power to perform miracles wonder and signs, you will open churches and heal the crowds in order to depopulate the kingdom of heaven, for since the beginning of the world up to now our proportion of souls has never descended to the 50%, your power will exceed that of revival church pastors so that we can recoup the many souls that we have lost because of the rise of revival churches, we must do exploit in order to regain these souls grabbed by the kingdom of heaven, in this gathering in the atmosphere I sat among the multitude while the speaker leading the meeting was addressing the congregation, the distance between me and the speaker was something like three kilometer, yet his highness addressed the people without microphone and speakers, he was far from where I was seating, I mean many kilometers but I was able to see him clearly and I could hear him clearly, though there was no microphone and no speakers in this auditorium, before his throne the people who were dressed in white, another group were dressed in red, another multitude were dressed in pastoral dress and black dressed, I saw the highness congratulating the first group of men of God, then he started reprimanding another group of pastor for failing to fulfill their assignment, some of them were punished and imprisoned in the second heaven, indeed there are many prison in the second heaven, the moment a pastor is imprisoned in the second heaven he will suffer on earth paralysis of the body, a part of his body will be paralyzed, then the highness called new arrival who were a lot, and I was among the new arrival, I want to point out that this representative of the devil who was conducting this global summit of occultic pastor, was dealing with multitude of men of God in the twinkling of an eye, he would call a hundred pastor and deal with them in the speed of thought, for we were in the spirit world, everything was done in supernatural speed. When he started to deal with new arrival he called me, I stood in a distance of many kilometers from his throne among the crowds, in a split second he landed before me and began to relate all my life, he revealed all my life and said to me, Joel, given that you have served the master faithfully as a witch, you were deemed worthy to be promoted and attend the global summit of pastor, you have been a witch working in the night, however from this day onward, you will not work in the night only, you will also work in the day, the highness turned around to the crowds and asked me, who are all these people before my throne, I replied, all these people seems to be pastors and men of God, he said to me you are correct, and this is precisely the job I am giving you, and from now on you are a man of God, you are a pastor and you will serve me on the earth like these men of God. Then the representative of Lucifer held my hand and began to transfer to power within me, I felt like I was invigorated, inflated and my spirit was renewed, he then returned to his throne which were many kilometer away, when he sat on his throne he asked me to open my mouth, when I did as require, he launched the Bible from distance, and this Bible travel in great speed and entered my mouth, I felt it settling in my heart. From that day onward I knew the Bible by heart from Genesis to Revelation, and I could recite it just like that, the Highness said to the protocol, bring me spirit, when they brought him spirit, he, made it know to me that these were spirit of sickness, such as cancer, tumor, cholera, typhoid, HIV AIDS, malaria, there were thirty spirit of sickness that were introduced in my hand, the Highness told me, 
You are given the ability to put these sickness in people body and you have the power to remove them so that they can believe in you, you will put sickness in people body and remove them, the highness gave me the anointing of the devil, actually in the kingdom of the second heaven there is a building which has twelve hall, and in each of these hall, there is a Jesus, who has a specific gift or capacity that he give, notice that I said Jesus, not Jesus Christ, these Jesus give false pass to the anointing gift and capacity, pastor often traveled in space to get the gift of vision, gift of healing and other, after giving me the anointing of oil, I was instructed to buy a barrel of oil, and drop a dot of this anointing of the second heaven inside the barrel, as a result the whole barrel of oil was bewitched, the purpose of this anointing of oil is the marking of the souls with the mark of the antichrist 666 on the forehead. Many people that are attending churches of false prophet are sealed on their forehead with the mark of the Antichrist, they are drinking water and anointing themselves with oil from the second heaven, after giving the anointing, the highness gave me fifty diva who were siren, these ladies were supposed to work with me, then he gave me boxes of ears, every Sunday and every weekdays of prayer, I was deploying these ladies in the street even in churches against children of God who were in distraction. When I was in the dark practices there were signs through which we were able to recognize children of God who walk in holiness and the fear of the Lord, not all of them have these signs. Indeed above the head of children of God there is a swords of fire like a rainbow, you cannot come close to a child of God, moreover every child of God have a soldier heavily armed who is the guardian angel, when I was a witch I used to see angels every time I see children of God. The space siren that were given to me were putting ears on the children of God ears so that they would forget everything they heard in the church, in terms of communication the highness gave me an international antenna for communication with the second heaven, then a national antenna, every time there is an announcement every single pastor of the second heaven on the earth will hear the announcement, later the assistants were given paper containing directive and guidelines for action from 97 to 2020. I was given two angels, for there is also two angels for every born again Christian, then he said to me I am sending you my servant on the earth to heal and perform miracle, to build churches like your colleagues sitting there, you will be a powerful servant and I will send you to theology school, then he gave me two demon, the first demon height was from my shoulder to the top of my head, he was never touching the ground I was supposed to carry him. He told me this spirit will be your guide and he will always be walking with you, the second spirit will protect your family as your father always wish, when I arrived at home I posted this demon of protection at the gate for protection, then the highness began to enumerate the commandment and directive of Satan to the assistants, he said to the audience, there is no time for break and recreation in this war, for time is coming we will all disappear and there will be nothing we will do, therefore let us bite time. On the basis of this fact, I am giving you this ten commandment that you will use from this day up to 2020, the emissary of Lucifer said, let wealth be the main preoccupation of children of God, and let wealth be the main prayer point of Christian for the love of money will be the first trap in order to capture Christian, I want to point out that when I was operating as a satanic pastor I was not eating tithe, for I was taking them to the second heaven and when they were bewitched. Then I was bringing them back to earth and giving them to several churches and several pastor, any pastor who were not praying for these money were falling victim, therefore pastor must pray before using money for they come from different places, these pastors who get our money get the demon of prosperity and greed. They will be preaching prosperity no more holiness, we must understand that the prosperity gospel originated from the second heaven, it is a materialist gospel prepared by the enemy. The love of money is the root of all evil, yet the devil say let us sow the love of money in the church, then the highness said, let create hate between servant of God in order to divide them and to lead them astray, I remember before starting my own churches I was joining true church in order to work there and destroy them, I was joining church and working with the anointing of the second heaven for I was in power with the capacity to heal and perform miracles, I was more powerful than the pastor who had received me and during deliverance I was causing people to vomit things that I brought and placed in their stomach, yet witchcraft is spiritual, it is when I had gained the trust of these pastors thanks to my dedication and anointing that I will achieve my mission, 
it is when people trusted me that I would go on to begin my own church and people were following me because of miracle, this was the way I was breaking up the church, when a huge section of the church will join me the church will cease to be, the highness revealed the third commandment and said, allow Christian to fast and pray but take away the value of fasting, they will fast but they will not take it seriously because they don't cow its value, they will be in distraction, they will even be sinning while fasting, they will be eating biscuit, they will not be concentrated in fasting, the devil want to reduce the value of fasting, then the highness said let put misunderstanding at home between the man and the woman and Christian couple in order to divide them and reduce their spiritual unity, Christian marriage is under attack as a result we see pastor remarrying because they are falling victim of the strategy of the second heaven, actually when the second heaven attack pastors couple in case there is divorce the space kingdom will send siren and diva in physical shape, to seduce these pastor and reap their souls, often when pastor divorce they remarried with ladies of the second heaven who are siren, that are deployed by the devil to shorten the lives of these pastors. Many of the ladies that show up in the lives of men of God are devil sent, we must know the enemy's strategy and schemes otherwise we will fall victim, the dark world has deployed female demon to marry pastor and destroy their ministry. There were times I was sending siren inside lady bodies and they were making ladies beautiful and seductive to the point that the pastor would not resist, when a lady is possessed by the spirit of a siren she would become incredibly seductive pastor must serve God with their wife because union and unity is their strength, when the wife of a pastor is not helping understand that the devil is already there, the woman would become the open door, then the highness said to the assistants, you will steal the word that is preached in churches so that they would forget when they leave the church, and I am giving you these ears that you will put on their ears otherwise the word will create a positive effect of peace, joy and fulfillment in their lives, the highness said. I am sending you to true churches so that you can collaborate with true servant of God and control their spiritual movement, let me make clear that in every true church of Jesus Christ there are false servant deployed by the enemy, they are there in mission, these servant of Satan are always close to the leader, they are humble, meek and sociable and lovable by everybody, the highness said you will stop Christian from reading the Bible otherwise they will have new revelation and initiative to attack us you must multiply occupation and things to do around them so that they will not have time to read the Bible, many Christian do not read the Bible anymore they don't even know where it is, then the highness said, we must increase activity around Christian so that they will not pray because prayer is spiritual reanimation, we were supposed to cause believer to be busy with different preoccupation and occupation, in order to stop them from praying, we were programming visit in their time of prayer, if you have planned to pray, then the highness said to the assistants the last point concerned all of you presently here, you must always fast and pray to have strength, consequently I was fasting for forty days and praying in order to have strength though I was a false pastor, Jesus said there will be false prophet and they will perform miracle, the highness said, no one should distract you, you must work day and night as you have agreed, when the meeting was finished, each pastor took his plane back to earth. I came to this meeting from 6 am and it ended at 4 pm, I landed in my toilet, I remember